So here we are with the positive feedback mechanism that is involved in the homeostasis. So we have done the negative feedback mechanism in which uh, we have uh, done the example of TSH and the uh, ADH system. Now here we are dealing with the positive feedback mechanism. What is positive feedback mechanism? It is the one to which the system responds in such a way to enhance or increase the change. That is, whenever the change occurs, this system will enhance or further doubles it. So, here we will give the example, we will take the example of the blood clotting and then we will take the example of the parturition and the milk ejection, which are all due to the positive feedback mechanisms. So, this mechanism is uh, less commonly involved, but it is involved in the emergency situation and different conditions like this, that is the blood clotting. So, uh, what is blood clotting? Blood clotting is a process in which the stoppage of the blood uh, occurs and the bleeding stops. The, it involves uh, three stages or three steps. That is the formation of prothrombin activator, then the conversion of the prothrombin into thrombin, and the, finally the fibrin neuron into the fibrin. So the fibrin is formed. Once the fibrin forms, the clot will be uh, formed, and there will be the stoppage of the bleeding. So first one, whenever the injury to the blood vessel occurs, there will be the bleeding and this, will be, uh, this bleeding will result in the formation of the prothrombin activator. This prothrombin activator then convert the prothrombin into the thrombin. Here the positive feedback mechanism act. This thrombin will lead the further uh, activation of the prothrombin activator or formation of the prothrombin activa uh, activator and the conversion of the fibrinogen into fibrin. This thrombin, this product is actually uh, making this cycle again and again and here the positive feedback mechanism act and this will lead the stoppage of the bleeding. So we, this is all about the bleeding, uh, of the bleeding and the blood clotting. So the, how, this is how the positive feedback mechanism act. So here we are taking another example of the positive feedback mechanism which is the onset of labor or childbirth. So this process begins with the contraction of the uterus. This contraction of the uterus allows the movement of fetus into the cervix. So when there is a dilatation of the cervix or the stretching of the cervix, the signal will move to the hypothalamus and there will be the more contraction. So this dilatation of the cervix will result in the movement of fetus through the cervix and this will stimulate the receptors present in the cervix. Like this, this is the cervix. So, whenever the baby's head will push out of this, so when this will be pushed out, the, uh, the receptors present in this um, in the cervix will send the message to the hypothalamus and this will result in the further contraction of the uterus. So, so receptors are stimulated and when these receptors are stimulated in the surface, the discharge of impulse from the receptors occurs and this will result in the transmission of signal to the hypothalamus and from the hypothalamus the hormone which is released is oxytocin. Oxytocin is a powerful hormone in during the uh, labor process which is allowing the baby to move out. So this will, uh, this uh, oxytocin will lead the further contraction of the uterus. This is where the positive feedback mechanism acts, and this will lead further and further contractions until the childbirth or the baby will come out. So this is how the childbirth occurs. So this is also through the positive feedback mechanism. Uh, this positive feedback mechanism is enhancing that is. Uh, letting the cycle again and again until the process ends. So this is all about the positive negative feedback mechanism. We are done with the homeostasis. Next we will study the acid base and uh, like this.